In May 2007, I flew to Rwanda to learn and write about the Mountain Gorilla Veterinary Project, or MGVP, an organization of veterinarians dedicated to the preservation of the highly endangered mountain gorillas. At that time, only about 700 mountain gorillas remained in the world, inhabiting the mountainous, lush countryside of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, and most prominently, Rwanda. MGVP veterinarians working together with tourism bureaus of each country were and still are dedicated to giving proper medical care and protection to the gorillas, as well as bringing in tourists as both a financial support for the countries and as a means to educate people about the importance of preserving this species. I was 21 years old and soon to be a senior at Johns Hopkins University. After flying into and spending a couple days in Kigali, the capital, our team, a veterinarian and board member of MGVP, and a film documentarian were driven to Ruingari, where MGVP headquarters is located. Their compound a few miles from where tourists congregate to start their morning hikes to the gorillas. In total, we hiked five times, each trip costing upwards of $500. After hours of bushwhacking and crawling through the trails, we arrived one particular day to a group of gorillas deep in the forest, eating and lounging. These are the photos of that group. Witnessing these peaceful, powerful creatures in the wild was surreal, to say the least. I observed how they ate, how they observed us, how they moved their bodies, how they both welcomed us and held us just far enough away. We also visited a local pygmy community one evening. They showed us their huts, they sang and danced for us, and the kids flashed us smiles and peace signs as I photographed. After our first few days of hiking, we ventured a few hours away to the Akagera National Park, where we spent a couple nights at an upscale resort in the middle of the park, where the staff warned me to watch out for lions as I walked back to my bungalow in the dark after dinner. Giraffes and hippopotamuses and elephants and gazelles, we saw it all. Because I was part of a veterinary group, rules of staying in our truck during the safari didn't really apply. Like this photo of me in the middle of the savanna photographing gazelle. We are allowed to get out and explore more than the lay person. And it was very exciting. Like when we approached an elephant alone and it started to run after us. So we kind of had to hop in our car and drive as fast as possible down the trail to get away. Um, they're very kind creatures, but also if you piss them off enough, they, they can be very powerful. My trip to Rwanda, more than anything, reminded me, despite obvious differences um, between animals and humans, about a stark similarity. That we, as well as they, are eager and willing to connect. That they feel and love, and that was humbling, a reminder of just how connected we are to all living things. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out my blog at sabrinamust.com. On Thursdays, we upload new YouTube videos and on Tuesdays and Fridays is when we add new blog posts. Stay along for the journey.